Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS on Halo Infinite. The game just released. Uh, so we're going to start with an optimization of Windows. And after that, we're going to go inside of the game. I'll show you how to boost your FPS and also how to get like a, a better visibility in the game. So first of all, a game mode, right game mode in your setting. Make, make sure that your game mode is at on. Uh, super important. It will help with uh, all the tasks that you don't want to run when you're playing the game. Also, it helps with the uh, scheduler from your Ryzen processor, if you have an AMD processor, but also on your Intel. So super important to activate this one. Make sure that the game bar, uh, the Xbox game bar is at off. If you're Windows 10 or 11, honestly, don't use that. Causing stuttering, issue, crash, artifact, a lot of different uh, problem with this one. So make sure that it's at off. After that, capture, make sure that your background recording is at off and also your recorded audio is at off. Another thing that it's really important, it's your uh, driver, GPU driver. So go on, um, I, I will put the link in my descri video description. AMD just released a brand new driver. Uh, you can't download the, download the driver uh, in, inside of your AMD driver. Normally, you know, you can just press download and uh, it will update automatically. It seems to be like some kind of like a hot fix or last minute like a uh, update to make sure that you have proper driver for the game so i'm gonna put the link just click on it and you will uh, you can download it uh for nvidia i'm not too sure if they just released something but uh, just look on their website and you will uh, find all the information another thing that it's really important it's your uh graphic setting if you have an nvidia card series 1000 or more recent right graphic setting in your search bar uh, click here. Make sure that your hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is at on. It will help with bottleneck. It's not for all the video cards. I saw a difference on GTX 1050, 1050 Ti, 1060, and 2060. Uh, you will not see the difference if you have something more powerful uh, because probably you don't have those kind of bottleneck. So just want to mention it. So make sure that you're using it. Another thing that can be important, it's your energy plan. So right energy, go to power option. Make sure that you use balance or high performance. Don't use the power saver one or other weird eco mode and stuff like that. It's more for people who's playing on a laptop. Sometimes you plug in the wall, you're using the balance from Windows. And after that, you go on your battery. It, it's going to switch to your power saver. And when you plug it back, it doesn't switch back to balance. So super important when you plug in the wall, make sure that you're running balance or high performance. And uh, yeah, you're gonna make sure that you're using the uh, all the resources from your laptop. One more thing that I want to mention is the um, I have two different guide on my uh, YouTube channel uh, how to overclock your GPU and how to overclock your CPU. This can help you a lot, like eight to twelve percent boost in your FPS, depending like again your thermals, the your video card and stuff like that. But still, uh, it, it's not like a guide who it's gonna be like too complicated i'm not touching voltage and stuff like that so it's pretty safe and you can get like free boost uh, for your hardware so just look at that so now let's go inside of the game so now the graphic parameter so let's start with video so the first option that you will have is the field of view uh, the field of view honestly it can affect your fps i know some people are saying no it will affect your fps i did the test so halo infinite you have a big difference in the FOV. As you can see in the background, my uh, FOV is changing. At 65, you don't see a lot of stuff in front of you. At 120, you see a lot of stuff and you will lose a lot of FPS. So it really depends right now why you are, you're are you watching my video. First of all, I know some people have an old computer, entry-level computer, and some people just want like a lot of FPS and also performance because like they want, you know, their try, they want to try hard at this game, so they want to see and they want FPS. So if you have a good computer, just make sure they have a pretty decent FOV. For me, uh, 120, I'm not a big fan. It it feels like a bit like a fisheye for me. So 105 for me, it's perfect fine. I always use that on Battlefield, Call of Duty, or Halo, Halo, sorry. But if you're struggling with your FPS, lower this for sure. 78 is your default, so you can even go a little bit lower and you will see you will improve your fps if you change it so let's go back to this after that display adapter uh this one make sure that you you it's your video card i know sometimes some people with a laptop they see the integrate video card over here so make sure that you have your dedicated gpu 
After that, display, make sure that this is your display. Borderless full screen, make sure it's checked. After that, your resolution scale, make sure that you're playing at 100%. If after the guide, you're still struggling with your FPS, you can lower this a little bit at like 90% maximum. Don't go too low uh, because after that, everything will look blurry. Minimum frame rate, I just put 60 here. It's not an issue for me uh, on my laptop. I just put like 60 because it's a 60 Earth screen. Uh, the maximum frame rate, I'm locking it at 168 because I want to be in my free sync range. But uh, just go on the uh, the website on the website of your uh, monitor to, to make sure that what is your range. I'm not too sure about the free sync range, like the minimum frame rate that you need to put. I, th I think it's something like 70 or something like that. But anyway, just look at that if you want to make sure that you use your free sync. Uh, after that, I'm not using VSync because I'm using FreeSync. So all the people who have FreeSync and G-Sync monitor, don't check that. If uh, you don't have that and you have a lot of tiering when you're playing, check your VSync. You will uh, all the tiering will be removed, but you will add input lag in your game. So it's more like, do you want input lag, more input lag, or uh, you don't really care about your screen tiering? After that, don't check this. So let's go to quality. So first of all, the anti-aliasing, I didn't see a big difference between high and low in my FPS, like something like one to two FPS. I just put low because my visibility is a lot better. The game looks a little bit blurry at high, so that's why I'm going with low. Texture filtering and texture quality. Just look at your VRAM usage here. Make sure that you're under your ideal and uh, yeah, for sure, don't go over there. Uh, so for me, it's not an issue. I just go ultra, but really depend on the amount of VRAM that you have on your GPU. Uh, so you just like change it depending on your VRAM. And BL inclusion, this one I'm putting this one at low because I want visibility. I know some people like BL inclusion because when you put this one at low, your game looks a little bit flat. So really depend what you want. I can definitely recommend medium also. Ultra to low, you gain you will gain a nice eight to nine percent boost in your FPS. And if you go at medium, you will gain a six percent boost. So it really depends uh, what you're looking for. Geometry quality, I feel like medium is a good balance for performance, FPS, but also your perf performance inside of your, your game. So uh, like they're telling you, uh, higher quality enable greater geometry detail with increased quality at further distance. So you're going to see like a little bit more in front of you, a, a little bit more clearer. So really depend what you want to do here. Reflection, I recommend to put this one at off. Uh, this one tanks my FPS. So uh, all the reflection in this game, when you put ultra to off, you will see a huge difference in the stability of your FPS. So definitely go with off for this one. Depth of field, go with low. It's not like a, an effect that you should use when you play a first person shooter. After that, shadow quality, I recommend medium. Ultra to low, you can gain a nice 8 to 10% boost in your FPS. But medium is a little bit better. Uh, your shadow will be a, a little bit also better in the game. So sometimes when you don't see the enemy, I, I just look at like, you know, uh, if I see a shadow in some building, oh, I know someone is there. Uh, at low, it's not very clear, the shadow. So that's why I'm using medium. It's a good balance between performance and also... Uh, to help you with your visibility so that's why I go with medium uh, lighting quality this one ultra to low you can expect a nice five percent boost volumetric for quality cloud quality those one are tanking a lot your fps i recommend to put the first one at off and low for this one will help with visibility and also your fps dynamic wing uh, just put off ground cover quality go with low you can expect a nice three percent boost effect quality again low uh, when you're fighting in your FPS tank, it's probably because of your effect quality. The, so just look at this. When you want to try on an FPS anyway, you don't really uh, want F effect quality. So that's why I'm going with low. Decal quality low. Uh, you can expect 2 to 3% max boost in your FPS. Animation quality, I recommend to go with auto. Terran quality, it's another one that I recommend medium because, again, you have the further distance if you increase the quality. Uh, again, depending on where you are in your guide, if you're uh, okay with your FPS, you can definitely go with I. Ultra is a bit like all those ultra settings in this game takes a lot of resources, so I don't recommend to use any, except if you don't care and you just want to run your game at maximum. Um, so this is pretty much it. Simulation quality, I recommend to go with low and flocking quality at off. After that, for sensory, I recommend to put blur at off, uh, at zero, sorry. 
Uh, it will help with your visibility. Same thing with the screen shake. Go with off. Uh, after that, the exposure, I recommend to go with 30%. Full screen effect, zero, again, for your visibility. And the last one is sharpening. I'm using 30, but this one is more for preference. Uh, if you feel like your sh sh everything is too sharp, just go a little bit lower. Me, I already use sharpening with my AMD software. So that's why I, I, I go with 30 and with the, the, the software that I'm using, I feel like 30 is okay for me. The last thing that I want to speak about, it's in UI. Scroll a little bit. Make sure that your FPS counter is checked. So you will now see your FPS at top right of your screen. And also make sure that your network statistic is checked also. You will see your uh, MS, so your ping. So really important because sometimes maybe you're lagging because of the server. It's not necessarily your game. So if you see something like 120 or 200 MS, it's probably because you're lagging. It's not necessarily your computer. So always look at your MS. And right now, you know, the game is not well optimized. Uh, for sure, they're going to improve it. But it's still playable. For me, it's better than Battlefield 2042. So uh, definitely, uh, I'm going to enjoy this game. So that's about it, guys, for the guide. If you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.